Britain will face more strikes by workers demanding higher pay after meetings between ministers and trade unions failed on Monday to end a wave of strikes across sectors from healthcare to transport. The GMB union revealed that more than 10,000 ambulance workers will walk out on Wednesday as planned. This comes after talks with Health Minister Steve Barclay failed to produce a breakthrough. Unfortunately, the, uh, the government have missed yet another opportunity to put this uh, right. We came here uh, in good faith. Uh, what they want to talk about is productivity. Productivity, when our members uh, are working 18-hour shifts, quite how you become more productive with that. UK service strikes were not limited to health workers. Tens of thousands of railway workers in the United Kingdom continued their strikes after the multi-day strike on rail, maritime and transport workers disrupting rail traffic. Our ambulance uh, members will be taking strike action uh, on, the, uh, on the 23rd. So very disappointed today, but unfortunately not surprised. On government level, however, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak stated that talks between ministers and trade unions were a positive development. Well, I'm really pleased that union leaders accepted ministers' invitations to come in today to have discussions across the board. And that's a really positive development. And on pay, we've always said that the government is happy to talk about you know, pay demands and pay issues that are anchored in what's reasonable, what's responsible, what's affordable for the country. But the most important thing is those talks are happening. With pay rises failing to keep up with double-digit inflation, which is now around 40-year highs, nurses, ambulance staff and railway workers are among those who have staged walkouts, with teachers also being balloted over action. In recent months, the UK has suffered the worst wave of strikes since the 1980s, causing serious paralysis in a number of industries, including healthcare. After more than a decade of stagnant wage growth, inflation is soaring leaving many people struggling to make ends meet, leading to continued strikes.